Hello my dear, this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen. Again I am back with another problem and especially this uh, problem has been uh, told, one, uh, told by one of my uh, student who told me to uh, make video on assignment method or assignment problems. That's why uh, he can understand about this concept from far away and uh, from me also because uh, he is he is my student and he is belonging from around uh, 50 to 60 kilometers far from where i am living right now so especially because of his request i am uh, going to make this video well as you can see here today i am going to share with you how to solve problems of assignment method and this assignment problems also you can say this is also known as hungarian method yes this is also known as Hungarian method. Particularly, whenever we study about linear programming problems, in that case, we study assignment method. And uh, uh, in this video, I will provide you one question, which question has been asked in GATE previous year question papers. That's why you can understand in GATE 2006, this question has been asked in GATE 2006. My motto of sharing this question is that you can also understand that what kind of question these days asking in GATE. Well, 2006 is too far from today, but even then you can get base of this, then I am pretty sure you can answer any question uh, related to this topic. Well, let's see that question. Let me draw that question properly. Okay, so it will little around a few seconds it will take to draw the table well i use red pen to okay now i use black pen 120 130 115 140 115 then 125 then 145 then 165 all right these are the values and uh, uh, the problem is for cost minimization Remember this, the method for maximum cost and minimum cost is little different. So the method here I am going to discuss with you that is about cost minimization, minimization. So remember these few uh, silly tips and tricks that's why you will not make mistake while solving question. See many of times uh, we knew how to solve question. But because of in we are in hurry or we are sitting in the examination hall in that time we do not recall all those things and uh, start solving question so first before going to uh, write uh, any examination practice a lot this is the only way to avoid such type of silly mistakes in the examination well let me solve or let me share with you how you can solve such this type of question properly okay so what first we have to do that is first we have to make we have to do row operation this is row operation that means we'll select first let's do uh, let's talk about this one this row this is row and this is column this is row and this is column so first first let me think uh, let me tell you what we are going to do with this row one we are going to select here we have three values one two three in row one so among of these values which one is minimum it is simple 110 now what we are going to do we are going to subtract 130 minus 110 120 minus 110 then 110 minus 110 that means minimum value will be subtracted by the maximum one and itself also so let me share with you what would be answer what would be the outcome of this step after implementing this step i must say that so this would be 0 this would be 10 this would be 20 and now again the same operation we are going to do or same thing we are going to implement for row second so here minimum value is 115 so 115 minus 115 0 115 140 minus 115 that is 
25. Again, the same value. So the value remaining would be here is same. The same operation we are going to do with row 3. So here minimum value is 125. So 125 minus 125 is 0. 145 minus 125 is 20. 165 minus 125 is 40. Hope you got it. Well, after the first operation, that is row operation, we'll see the table. How we are going to see? Uh, let me share with you. First, we'll see each row is having 0 or not. Here, let me see this row. This is having 1, 0. That's okay. Here also 1, 0. That's okay. Here also 1, 0. That's okay. That means condition 1, that is all row is having at least one zero that is that will satisfy our condition to go for the next step in this numerical or while solving this type this problem now we'll go, move move towards to condition number two we'll move towards to condition number two what is that that is we'll see column each and every column of this table must have at least one zero. This column is having three zero. That's okay. That's very good. Now, let me see this one. In this column, we don't have any zero. In this column also, we don't have any zero. So, what does that mean? That means we have to do the same operation, which operation we have used in case of row. That means in this column, we need to find out minimum value, then subtract from the maximum one. Let me share with you, after implementing this condition with column number 2 and column number 3, what will happen? Okay, let me draw. Okay, you can see here. Okay, okay. Now, here we have already 0, we have 0, we have 0. So, minimum value is here, 10. 10 minus 10, 0. 10 minus 15, 25, that is 15. And 20 minus 10, 10. Again, here minimum value is 20. So, 0, 5, then how much remaining? 20. So, the condition we were looking for that already satisfied. Now, what we have to do? We have to do one thing we have to use lines to to cover this zero we have to use lines to cover this zero and we have to cover we have to use lines to cover this zero that's why minimum number of lines can cover minimum number of lines can cover all zeros for implementing this thing we have to see which row or which column is having maximum number of zeros? Yes. In this case, we have maximum number of zeros is here. Here. So, first we will cover this here. Now, again we will see which row or which column is having maximum number of zeros. Which one? This one. We have to cross like this. Now, what we have to do, one thing is very important in this case, we have used, we have used only two lines. But we are having matrix is 3 by 3. Square matrix, only square matrix can, if there would be only square matrix, then we can use this technique to solve the problems. So, already we have a square matrix, that's why we are solving it. Now, if there is, there are only two lines to cover this. So, this square matrix must be equal to the number of lines. But here, square matrix 3 is greater than number of lines. Number of lines. So, we need to implement the concept, the another method or another concept to solve this question. Okay, I am going to just use another paper because this is already filled. Okay. Okay, I have it. Okay, so what we have to do here? Let me draw uh, that table again because I don't have that one. So I cannot show you even because that my space is not available in my camera. Okay, so zero is here. Zero is here. Zero is zero. Zero. Fifteen. Five. Ten. Twenty. Okay. Now let me cross this. Okay. 
the same condition is uh, was there also you can just uh, see on the i mean uh, the, the the time if you if you want to remove I mean, if you want to see the previous one just you need to move your cursor to that uh, stage also you can see no problem at all okay so what we have to do right now i'm going to share with you that thing only here we have to choose minimum number minimum number minimum number what is among one another condition we need to apply among uncover uncover numbers so here how many numbers are uncovered this one this one this one and this one among these four numbers which one is minimum five so five is minimum let me draw another table that's why i can share with you what exactly we are going to do in this concept so here is the table okay so minimum number is 5 now what we are, to, we are going to do we are going to minus i mean we are going to subtract from the maximum number here i mean uh, greater than this number so 5 minus 5 the same operation what we did in case of row or column operation so 5 uh, 5 minus 5 0 the here is 10 here is 5 here is 15 now what we have to do another thing that is another thing or i must say that is the new concept what is in the case of intersection here two lines are intersecting here you can see this is the intersection point here we are going to add this minimum number that means 0 plus 5 is 5 and remaining numbers those are just covered by line will be as it is 5 0 0 here 0, 0 now again we have to use concept which concept we have used previously to cover all zeros that means we have to use minimum number of lines to cover all zeros so what we have to see which row or which column is having maximum number of zeros this row is having two this column is having two this row is, so any one we can do first let me cover this one then this one now remaining one i would like if i will draw like this even then i can cover if i will draw like this even then i can cover so let me do like this only now what we have number of total number of lines is 3 and matrix is 3 so 3 is equal to 3 that means the condition which one we required that is satisfying here now what we have to do we have to do another step we have to move forward another step i'm going to draw another table for that after then we can uh, easily uh, after one step you are going to get the answer of this question so what i have to do i have to draw a table first that's why i can show you properly what i am going to do and what you should do in other question to solve the this type of question uh, correctly so 0, 5 and 15 now what we have to do after satisfying this condition that means the total number of lines is equal to a square matrix so after then we have to find out row or column which is having only one zero row or column which is having only one zero here two zeros two zeros two zeros one zero one zero this is also one zero so what here we are finding that this is here this is having only one zero so i have to cap this zero in one box now let me see this side no zero this side is having zero so i have to cross this zero this side having zero no zero okay no problem after crossing this i have to see the next forward so i can i cannot see here because i have already did, did operation in this uh, row i can see this side only so here we found this so we have to keep this zero in a box now i have to see this side okay cross this side no zeros this side is having one zero so i have to cross this now i can see this side no zero this side yes we are having zero so i have to keep this in box now total so the question was having total minimum total cost procurement is so minimum cost would be what to see that i have to show you the uh, the, uh, the previous page one so you can see here for this condition how many rupees we have 125 we need to just add the uh, the under box zeros values so zero means 125 plus this year zero means 120 plus this is uh, this is zero means 140 so 
आफ्टर दिस इज फाइव सिक्स एट वन टू थ्री थ्री एटी फाइव रुपीज सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन एस इन गेट टू थाउजेंड सिक्स एंड यू हैव सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्टली होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट आई यूज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड प्रैक्टिस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस एंड आई होप यू कैन डू मच बेटर If you got any question which you cannot, uh, which which uh, you cannot able to answer, or which you can cannot able to uh, solve the question, then you can just send me, and uh, I will try to solve this question, and definitely I will upload that question to my YouTube channel. Well, thanks for watching my video, and hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye.